Hey everyone, and welcome to my first helmet review. And we're going to be starting with my very favorite helmet, and that is the Bell Moto 3. So my first time getting a motorcycle, I bought whatever cheap $150 full face helmet that I got in Massachusetts. And uh, I don't know what the brand was. And I don't remember much about that helmet other than it was a helmet. And I did crash in it one time and it, and it saved some face. Other than that, you know, I didn't necessarily have a lot of experience in helmets. So when I got my Street Scrambler, I started off with a open face helmet from AGV and a full face helmet from Shark, uh, which is a Shark Squall. So full face was for traveling and the open face was for, you know, more around town kind of stuff. Eventually, when it was on sale, I got the Bell Moto 3. And right away, I loved it. For one, it's been my best fitting helmet for my beautiful bald head. So out of all the helmets I've tried, nothing has fit me better than the, Mil the Bell Moto 3. So, you know, right off the bat, really comfortable helmet. So my big complaint with full face helmets is getting my vertical field of view a little more constrained. I like open face helmets because you have really good vision up and down. And what's great about the Bell Moto 3, as you can see with this eye port here, is that it has that same great vision that you'd get from an open face helmet. But the nice thing is you get chin protection because if you crash an open face helmet, your face is in jeopardy. So uh, this is nice because if we crash, we hopefully are protecting our face a bit more and also from debris on the road. And of course, big open eye view, you're gonna still, you know, things hit your nose, bugs hit your nose, it's, it's gonna happen. So I love my helmet so much that I was hoping Caitlin would be interested in getting one and she did because she liked this color here and it's the perfect helmet here in, in New Orleans for the summertime because you get a lot of airflow. Obviously, the big open eye port, there's a lot of airflow there, but you also get airflow on the chin. So you get the same kind of airflow you'd get in an open face helmet, but closer to a full face helmet's protection. So that's one great thing about it. Another great thing about it, uh, by the way, safety wise, is that this helmet is ECE rated. And that's great. I have an Arai X-T4 that's ECE rated. That's now my new full face for touring and all that, riding in the rain. But otherwise, uh, this helmet is also ECE rated and every other helmet I have is not. So uh, that's great. So it is gonna be a louder helmet since it's, it is open, but it's not, it's not too bad, honestly. Uh, I wear earplugs a lot when I'm riding, as you really should, because uh, ear protection is nice. When after a while, it's gonna damage your ears. So for me, being a music guy, gotta protect my ears. But uh, you can see that we have Cena headsets installed on Caitlin's helmet as well as my helmet, and uh, they work great, honestly. Um, I can take phone calls. It's a little harder to hear on the highway. I have had phone calls on the highway that I was able to hear and Caitlin was actually able to hear me and didn't really notice the wind noise on her end So um, when she was on the phone. So that, that's really cool. So another feature about this helmet is you, you get the sun visor, obviously. Now it's a short little sun visor. This is definitely a old school MX style helmet. On my Rai X-D4, you can see that it has a definitely a more modern or aggressive dirt bike, modern dirt bike sun visor, sun peak. So, um, but this one still has it. It's semi-effective. It's not as effective since it's a shorter sun visor, but it, but it looks cool. Definitely a cool look to it. And the nice part is if you don't like it, which, or if you're gonna be riding on the highway, which is, you know, good idea to do this, you can snap off the visor and rock it without the visor. And now you won't have any kind of pull on the highway. So I, I did, you know, this isn't a helmet I would necessarily recommend for touring. I don't tour with it, but I did, when I had gotten it relatively recently, I did ride from Nashville, Tennessee up to Slade, Kentucky, which was a decent, I think a 400 mile ride or so one way. And, uh, 
I I wore my Bell Moto 3 for that, and uh, it honestly wasn't too bad. Although it did rain a little bit on the way home, and the eh, face got a little bit wet. Honestly, it's not that bad if you wear goggles like I like to wear. So, and that's one of the reasons I like this helmet, and I like these kind of helmets in the first place, is I'm a big goggle guy. I like wearing goggles. I don't, I, I usually don't rock sunglasses with this helmet. Sometimes, occasionally I will, but I prefer goggles. As an example, I would rock goggles on the helmet, right? And then, you know, I'm using it. Boom, goggles fit in perfectly. And these are some of the, I think the Barstow, uh, these are the 100% goggles, and they're probably some of the bigger goggles out there, and they fit in there just fine. No issues with the fitting at all. Get done with the ride. You know, if, I'm, if I got the, uh, you know, strap them back up here, when I'm off the bike, when I use the sun visor, I can put them on the chin and it's and it's fine. So, anyhow, great helmet. Like I said, my most comfortable helmet. I love it. The airflow is really nice. The quality is nice. Cheap pads in the headliner. It can be pulled out if you need to wash them, which I've done from time to time because I wear this one so much. And look how cool it looks. So they come in three different shell sizes. So uh, extra small and small is one shell size. So this is an extra small. And then medium and large, this is a medium. And that's a shell size. And then there's large and extra large as a shell size. Again, my favorite helmet. I wear this 90, probably 90% of the time I ride. Any, anytime I'm running around the city, I wear this helmet. So you usually can find me rocking this and a pair of goggles.